Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Fashion Fix, a little series where I like to help you guys out with your fashion dilemmas and give you some inspiration of how to alter those thrifted finds. Well hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Fashion Fix. So in today's episode I'll be showing you guys how to make a really cool puff coat out of this sleeping bag that I found around my house. I thought it was the ideal thing to make a coat out of. Since it's winter season I've been obsessing over my puffer coats and I really wanted to try and make one of my own. So in today's episode you'll be seeing me turning this oversized huge sleeping bag into this gorgeous little puff coat that I decided to make myself. So without further ado, let's just get into the video and I hope you guys enjoy. So the first thing I did was laid my sleeping bag down and I just roughly drew out where I wanted my coat to be on the sleeping bag with some pins so I could just have a rough idea of the design of it. So I just did that quickly with some pins and then I'm taking an existing puff coat that I already have and I'm going to use that as basically my template or my um, pattern and trace around my sleeping bag with the coat with some pins in order to get my shape. Since the zip of the sleeping bag goes all the way across along the top of the sleeping bag, um, I didn't want to cut that away so in order to keep that I'm just going to um, pin the cuff just along the top here in order to make a collar and then I'm just going to pin that like so. Then I just took my tape measure and I just roughly measured how long I wanted my puffer coat to be. Since I wanted it to be quite cropped I decided to go for about 17 inches. Now I'm just taking um, my coat again and then just tracing around the rest of the coat in order to get a full pattern. Once I was happy with that, I just started to cut it out. Then in order to make sure the coat was even, I just folded over to the other side and then just lined up the seams to make sure that they were even on both sides. Then once I was happy with where all my pins were, I just cut out the other side, leaving about half an inch to an inch seam allowance all the way around. So once I was finished cutting out, in order to close up my shoulder seams, I'm just going to sandwich the inner lining and the quilting together, like so if you guys can see. So I'm just going to sandwich those two pieces together and then I'm just going to sew a straight stitch all the way down in order to close that off. Then I just repeat the same step on the side seams as well. Then once I was done doing that, I'm going to fold over the green outer shell of the coat, like so, with about half an inch um, to fold over and then I'm just going to do that on this one and do it on the other one as well in order to close off the outer half of the coat. Then once both halves were hemmed, I'm just going to sandwich them together like I did with the inner shell, but um, obviously I'm going to do this on the outside. I would do this on the inside and turn it right side together, but since the um, coat is already stitched up with the previous design, um, I'm just going to do it on the outside. So 
So once I was done doing that on both sides of the shoulders, they were nice and closed off. And basically you have something that basically looks like a gilet. And then um, all I'm doing now is taking a bit more of the stuffing um, that's um, left over from the bottom half of the sleeping bag. And I'm just filling out the front of my coat in order to give it a bit of more body because it's a bit flat. Um, and then once I was done doing that, I'm just going to sew along the chest area here and then along the top half in order to make the collar. Now moving on to my arms, I'm just taking my existing puff coat again and using the arms as a pattern in order to create the new arms on my new coat. So I'm just doing the same thing I did with the body, I'm just tracing around my coat with some pins in order to get the pattern. I thought the bottom half was perfect as it has a drawstring as you guys can see and I thought this would be ideal as the cuffs for my sleeves. So I'm just going to remove those drawstrings before I cut out my sleeves for my coat. Um, silly me kind of made the mistake and I did this the wrong way around. So next time around I just have to remember to put the highest part of the shoulder um, on the fold um, as I did it the wrong way around. So the um, seam is going to be along the outside rather than on the inside. Which I don't mind but I would have preferred if um, the seam was along the inside of the arm. Then I'm just taking the other side of the sleeping bag and repeating the same step by removing the drawstring first at the bottom and then just lining up the seams and tracing my sleeve onto the other half. Then in order to close my sleeves off, oh apologies for the lighting change, um, it just got a bit darker so that's why it looks a bit yellow. But anyway, in order to close off the seams of the jacket, of the arms, all I'm going to do is fold it right sides together and then I'm just taking the green outer shell and I'm just going to sandwich those two pieces together like so and then just pin all the way along, all the way down to the bottom. Then I just did a straight stitch all the way down and then I'm just doing the exact same thing, repeating it on the other side of um, the sleeve with the green um, lining and I'm just pinning them right sides together like so and I'm going to sew that all the way down and then once I'm done I'm just going to turn it the right way around and I'm done with my sleeve. Now moving on to inserting my sleeve onto my coat, I'm just going to take the green outer shell of the body of the coat and the outer shell of the sleeve and sandwich those two together with the quilting in between both of them and then I'm just going to do a straight stitch all the way around to secure it in place. Then once I was done doing that, in order to close off the lining on the inside of the coat, I'm just going to um, fold down the lining like so and then just sandwich them together. So I'm just tucking in the raw edges, so basically hemming it from the inside out. And then I'm just going to do that all the way around the armhole and then just do a straight stitch to close that up.
So once I was done attaching my arms, I just wanted to add a bit more stuffing at the back of my coat since it was looking pretty flat and I did want it to match the front. So I'm just going to take a bit more stuffing that's left over from the bottom half of the um, sleeping bag and I'm just going to stuff the back a little bit more. So once I was happy with all the stuff in, I just went ahead and started to close off the bottom of my coat, repeating the same step that I did inside on the lining um, by just sandwiching the two pieces together and then just pinning it in place. And then I'm just going to do that all the way around my coat um, to close it off and then just do a basic straight stitch. And then once I was finished doing that, all I had left to do was to um, apply the drawstrings back inside the cuff of my sleeves. So all I'm going to do is take a safety pin and attach it to the end of the drawstring like so. And then I'm just going to feed it through the end cuff of the sleeve until I go all the way to the end. Then once I had it through the other end of the sleeve, all I'm going to do is tuck it into a hole that I left at the end of my sleeve when I was making um, the lining for it. Um, I just left a tiny little gap in order for me to close off the cuff of the sleeve. So I'm just tucking it into that hole that I left and then all I'm going to do is um, sew that shut. And then all I'm going to do is repeat the same step on the other sleeve and I was all done guys. So this is the end result guys, serving you Ninja Turtle vibes <laughs> in this very loud green. But I'm pretty happy with the way it came out considering I've never made a coat like this before. I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. Um, I also like that it's um, also pretty reversible as well. So I could wear it this way if I wanted to as well. But um, I'm really happy with the end result and I'm definitely probably going to try and make another one of these. Since I did make a few mistakes but um, it's all in practice so yeah. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next one.